And we're back yet again, everybody. My name is Jared for TGN Technology and the Smoking Android. And today we're going to be taking a look at the long-awaited AOKP ROM. Well, long-awaited is kind of an exaggeration considering the device only came out this month. Um, but the uh, long-awaited, I'll use that phrase anyways, um, AOKP ROM for the Samsung Galaxy S3. AOKP ROM, for those of you who don't know, is um, another AOSP feeling ROM, which basically means stock Android. Um, and with a ton of different options and features, a lot of which are missing from Sanjay Mod 9 because for those of you that aren't really aware, Sanjay Mod 7 um, was absolutely completely jam-packed full of features and customizations and options and things like that. And a lot of them didn't get used by the majority of the users. Um, it was kind of only like super advanced users that knew what 80% of those features did and what they meant and things like that. So Sanage Mod 9, they actually ended up um, removing a lot of those uh, features and, and customizations and things like that just because they were so confusing. So they kind of um, dumbed it down a bit. I, I hate using that word, but that's pretty much what they did. And so AOKP ROM is out and um, it actually kind of puts back in all of those features that you know, we may have seen in Sanjay Mod 9 had they not sort of scaled down the amount of features and options. Um, but AOKP ROM has done a really, really great job of sort of bundling all of these together. Now, I probably myself personally won't use about 60% of these uh, or more. However, it's still nice to have. So this is like a perfect balance ROM for those um, super advanced Android ROM users and for those sort of newer guys that, you know, want to sort of learn uh, customizations and tweaks sort of as you go, you know, if, if you notice something is like, oh man, I wish it did that. Well, go ahead and take a look in ROM control here. You know, you've got a bunch of different options in here. Uh, you can control, there's all kinds of GUI, uh, general UI, um, customization settings, go through there real quickly. Uh, you can put the navigation bar, so those um, soft uh, on-screen buttons that you are uh, familiar with in terms of the Samsung Galaxy Nexus, um, all kinds of options in here. Uh, you can go down to lock screen options, tons of stuff in here. To choose from as you can see volume wake um, there's still a couple of things that aren't working with this rom considering that it is brand new for the samsung galaxy 3 in fact i don't believe it even has official support yet uh, from what i understand it's still an unofficial stage so um, we'll 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 have to wait and see how long it takes for updates and things to come out um, i believe this is build 40 and build 40 has been out for several days now whereas sanity mod 9 is a nightly stage uh, for the Samsung Galaxy S3. Uh, mind you, this is the i9300 I version. That is the international unlocked version. So if you do have an AT&T or Sprint or whatever, um, I have no idea <laughs> if this is available for your phone. I haven't really been looking in those sections considering I don't own one of those Samsung Galaxy S3s. I own the international one. Um, so anyways, moving on. Uh, so we've got uh, weather. So you can do all kinds of cool stuff in here. And then weather, weather to pull weather information and display it throughout the ROM. Uh, kind of neat there. I haven't really checked out that before in uh, previous AOKP builds on different devices. Uh, power saver, bunch of stuff in here. Um, this could be very interesting to look at. I'm really interested in looking in there. Uh, LED options. I love being able to change around the LED colors of my device. Um, no need for light flow. Uh, then we've got general, like button behaviors, notification icon transparency, stuff like that. Uh, you can change the clock, battery bar, you can you can customize the battery bar up there. Uh, what else can you do? We can um, change the signal, the signal, you can change the color, you can change it to decibels, uh, stuff like that. And uh, what else we got here? So performance, obviously, this is where a lot of the good stuff happens. So um, right now with the current kernel that it's using, uh, maximum is one point. Uh, Sorry, 1400 megahertz or 1.4 gigahertz for those of you out there. Uh, scaling governor, so we do have on demand user space, power save, Pegasus Q, and performance. I have no idea what Pegasus Q is, but that was set to default, so I'll leave that there for now. Um, I haven't really looked too much into the different types of governors that are being introduced into ice cream sandwich ROMs as of lately, so um, I'll probably have to do some more research on that down the road just to kind of fully understand how to utilize um, the performance. Um, settings a little easier there, so you can do set it uh, boot, free memory, set it boot, scrolling cache, stuff like that. Uh, and startup tweaks. Startup tweaks is cool. You can uh, basically tweak it so that it starts up quicker and pr prevents certain things from um, launching while it is booting up. Uh, Zipline ABKs, enable SD boost, which is cool. Uh, fixed permissions, clear cache. So it says fixed permissions for apps on each boot. So that's that's pretty neat, just in case you happen to muck things up, just reboot your phone and it should fix all the permissions. Uh, you can clear cache, enable system, tweaks on boot. No idea what that is. Yet again, that's another like you know advanced user feature um, that 
you know, <laughs> for, for most of us, we have absolutely no idea what that means. Um, so I do wish that they had sort of descriptions and all of these, but I guess that would add to the ROM. Uh, enable scheduled tasks and so on. So uh, lots of really cool stuff in this ROM here. Um, go uh, to the uh, notification tray here, and uh, this is sort of one of, its, one of its more popular features that it has actually these types of toggles that you'll find in the settings uh, menu right on your notification uh, bar there. Uh, and as you can see, it's got things like you can, um, it's got a little uh, screen brightness slider here, so you can change the screen on the fly, which is cool. Uh, you've got your Wi-Fi, GPS, Bluetooth, and rotate um, settings there. And I'll actually turn that on. And obviously, AOKP statistics, just like Sanjin Mod 9 or, uh, you know, MIUI to sort of help send back those bug reports and make it better. We've got our uh, settings button right there. Oh, I'm sorry, that's different. Uh, you can either make the toggles disappear or reappear. Unlike Sanjin Mod 9, you would just usually hit that and it'll launch you right into the... Uh, right into the settings. So uh, some pretty cool stuff here. I do know that this is customizable as well. So if you do want to start changing things around or adding to it, you can do so. Um, it also has a bit of a um, transparent uh, uh, background there. As you can see, it's got um, a AOKP live wallpaper, which looks pretty funny. And we'll just take a quick breeze through some of the AOKP wallpapers here and just some different color variations there. I like some of these rusty Rusty Unicorn is what it's called. Um, there's the straightforward one. Set your unicorn free. Here's some other ones that I do enjoy. Uh, I've got some different Android stuff there. Some cool sort of Ed Hardy <laughs> looking uh, logos there for AOKP. Um, different stuff. And of course, last but not least, the good old President Obama holding a picture of the AOKP unicorn mascot. <laughs> So that's awesome. That's that's how important AOKP is, you know. Uh, even the president supports it. Um, but anyways, guys, that is it. Uh, it seems to be running smooth. I haven't loaded anything on it um, other than this speed test app because when I first fired it up, it looked like I was getting much better signal strength than um, I have in previous ROMs. So I kind of wanted to do a speed test to see if maybe I was going to get faster data speeds. And that wasn't the case. So, <laughs> anyways, guys, that is AOKP ROM for your Samsung Galaxy S3 International i9300 version. And um, that is basically it. The next ROM I will be taking a quick look at will be Foxhound ROM because uh, uh, he's got a lot of really cool stuff in there. And also, I've kind of missed some of the um, function functionality of the um, stock Samsung Galaxy S3 ROM that uh, was on it previously with all the different motion gestures and the camera and all the different buddy share features and things like that. So lots of really cool stuff. Hopefully one day we'll be able to see some some integration in some of these other custom, custom ROMs. Uh, but anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. If you did like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up down below, right around, or if I can put my finger right around there, it should be. And don't forget to subscribe for uh, more videos like this in the future. And uh, for TGN Technology and the Smoking Android, my name is Jared, and we shall see you guys in the next video.